Hi, I'm Zane. I'm going to be showing you how to um, import a photo like this one, an aerial photo with um, contour model, uh, contour lines on it, and um, into ArchiCAD and turn it into a 3D terrain. All right, so we're just going to jump straight in here, straight into ArchiCAD, go File, External Content, Place External Drawing. Okay, or drawing, sorry, place external drawing there. All right, then we're going over here and going open. So we've located it, just click somewhere and it will drop it down. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to scale this image. We need to make it sort of so that if we draw something here and it's 10 meters, it's actually 10 meters on the ground. As you can see, it doesn't come through scaled at all. Um, so this was an A4 at one to 2,500. However, an A4 should be tiny little box down here and it's not this is a two meter grid so you can't just go well make it two and a half thousand times bigger so what we need to do is we need to identify a couple of points in here measure those points and then tell ArchiCAD how big um, the image should be so now for some reason the site that I got this from um, is down so not a big deal I'm just going to do it straight from Google Earth and this might be the case, you might have a contour model. Um, hang on. You might have a contour model. Hang on, where are we? Here we go. Um, that you've acquired and you don't, you can't identify or measure any points. You could do it with a scale ruler, but you are going to get some pretty big errors. So I'm going to do it right here um, with our measuring tool. Let's clear that one. So I'm going to measure it from this roof up here you want to try and get the longest distance you possibly can down to the corner of the swimming pool okay maybe right there okay so in meters um, well, that's interesting what's the difference between map length and ground length 700 oh, it's 732 meters cool from that corner to that corner so let's flip back over to ArchiCAD so that's from there to there so I'm going to select the image, go edit, um, reshape, resize, or command K. Um, we're going to define graphically, that's cool. Zoom all the way in, make sure you don't click anywhere. And there we go, so we've defined one end of our vector. Zoom into the other end, down by this pool. So you want to get the longest length you can, because the longer this line is, the less your error will be. Alright, so now you'll see that the image is changing size but we're going to go um, D is 732 meters okay, or 732,000 millimeters hit return alright now just to make sure that we've done that correctly um, I'm going to grab the little measuring tool up here and measure just approximately from there to there and it should be 732 meters which it is in fact I'm going to change my units because it's options working units changes to meters with a couple of decimal places okay don't change the layout that's um, you know the size of text and things like that on a piece of paper so you'd normally leave that at millimeters or inches if you're in the States all right so um, again if I do that measurement it's really 732 meters from there to there and it is escape all right so we've got the right scale next thing is I'm going to draw a mesh, so I'm just going to create a square mesh that's the size of my document. Cool. Now it disappears. The reason for that, if we zoom all the way in here and keep zooming and zooming and zooming, eventually we'll see that there's a pattern fill on here. Okay. Um, we're at 1 to 50, which is too big. So if we change that to one to two and a half thousand, because we know that kind of works, two thousand would be almost a better option. And fit to view. Okay, now you can see that pattern fill. However, I don't want to see the pattern fill at all. So I'm just going to go into the settings for my mesh and turn the cover fill off. Awesome. So if I was to print this at A4, it should fit quite nicely on the page. Alright, so now it's just a matter of drawing your contours. Now the way I do this, you could select the mesh, go to the back to the mesh tool and start, you know, clicking little points and that sort of carry on, which is incredibly painful and not very cool. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to use a spline and I'm going to 
use the spline to create the contours like this cool you can be a little bit crude about it you can always come back and edit if you make a mistake don't stress um, notice that I'm starting outside um, and finishing if I can outside the mesh that just means that um, later on I'm going to magic wand point straight onto here and I want it to follow all the way right up to the edge and it's much easier just to start and finish outside so you can come back here and edit these points if you have to all right so I'm just going to do that and um, I'll be back in two shakes of a monkey's tail all right so um, I've got some pretty crude ones in here Oops. Um, some pretty crude contours I just did it quite quickly um, I'm kind of concentrating on this area here for this project um, so oh, that one's a little bit too crude alright so if you need to add a point you can add a point to the spline just click on little pet palette there add a point excellent okay that'll do um, now we want to create a couple of layers in here so I'm gonna, I've created a layer called contours I'm going to select all my splines so if you go to the spline tool go command A I'll select all my splines stick that onto my contours layer Cool. Um, this here I want to put onto import site aerial that's the, the aerial photo and my mesh should be on a layer I've created called terrain original actually there's one in there by default I believe called site mesh existing okay doesn't really matter you want to sort that out now though so it makes life much easier all right now we select our our mesh and we're just going to go back to the mesh tool so this is when I'd normally start drawing on it but I'm just going to hold down the space bar and go click Hit OK and we end up with a whole bunch of points now we don't really want that many points here we're getting lots and lots of points let's go undo over there for a second and go to options magic wand settings okay and you can see here um, it's been set to segments along circles five so every time it gets to a little arc it tries to put five points across it by default I think it's on deviation of less than four millimeters from the curve which is a bit crazy so I've changed this to um, to half a meter that means it's allowed to be half a meter out which is about as accurate as we are anyway you can see from this image okay cool and so now I haven't got too many points it's quite easy to edit so now I just go through and I'm going to add all of these points going space click notice that okay some of these settings aren't this isn't Correct them, haven't got much resolution. I could just add an extra point in here, okay? Click, yeah, or I can go back and tweak my magic wand settings. If I go undo, undo, undo options, magic wand settings. So maybe I'll use a segment length of 15 meters, yeah, and go space click. That means that I'll get a point every. 15 meters oh, sorry about this people talking outside my office it gets quite noisy all right so we just go through and we keep adding all these points okay if you want to change that back something that's a little bit better I think maybe we'll go 0 0.4 0 0.3 let's, let's see how that looks okay that curves quite straight it's, it's working alright. Oh, looks like I'm actually. Oops, I think I forgot to actually go do that. There's no correct setting, it just depends on your model. Cool. If you decide, see, uh, we're getting quite good resolution in this one. This one's actually looking pretty cool. Um, be careful if you miss the contour line and you go like that. And you get two contours done for free mm, wrong because when we come back we're going to add a height um, to um, all of these it will add the same height to both so we don't do that okay 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 all right so we've done all those points excellent oops also don't do the same line twice if you think you have just undo yeah you can delete these contours as well so I might delete this one over here and redo it 
See how the cursor turns white? I think if you've got an older version, the actual shape of the cursor changes. All right, so that's all my contours done. Obviously, I should really do some more of these ones, but um, I'm a bit lazy. Okay, if you decide actually this one here I don't like, zoom right in. You can see this little line here. If you click on that, it shows you that you've got the mesh selected, but you've only got one contour. Press delete. Cool. You can see I've deleted that contour. Then go back to the mesh tool. Click. Okay. Bang. Cool. Now it's just a matter of going through and adding the heights. So we go. Add the little Z down here. So we're working in meters. So 15 meters. Oopsies. I only added it at one point. We want to go apply to all. Cool. So it's applied it to all those points. Then you just go through and go 10 meters, etc. etc. 5 meters. Cool. I'll just do that and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so I've added a few points here. And if I flick into 3D, you can already see that we've got the terrain forming, which is looking pretty cool. Now there's a couple of little errors along here. You'll actually see, for example, along the edges here. You can fix these in 3D. Um, I'm not sure why they're there, but um, and you'll find, sometimes find that the corners are at the wrong height. Um, so you can see over here, okay, because that's because they are originally zero. Now, if you go and change these, best, I mean, in most cases you're going to have to make a bit of a guesstimate. So this is um, 15, so that'd be 14. And there's the 13, so it's probably about 13.5. So you grab this corner. 13.5. Make sure apply to all is deactivated. You'll actually notice that ArchiCAD will automatically deactivate if you click on any of the edge pieces. If, it, if I did apply to all, it would run around the entire outside edge, changing them all to 13.5, which we do not want. Also, if you're trying to work on an area and want to see what it looks like, cunning trick, just use the marquee, draw a box around an area, hit F4. I think it's the same on the PC. Might be slightly different. Um, and you can see that whole um, terrain there. Um, that if for if you can't if it is different, where is it? Uh, show selection and marquee. So it says function F4. All right. If you want to reset the 3D, just hit F4 again with nothing selected. Okay. So that's how you fix that up. Um, in 3D, you can do it. You just select the point that you want to change so in this case I might want that point to be the same height as that and it's done in fact I don't even know what that point's doing there let's just move him to his neighbour and he'll disappear cool